In this recording, I'm going to show you how to draw a realistic looking pencil using the tools in Adobe Illustrator. So I'm going to start a new document, uh, open up an artboard, and I'm just going to make it in half by 11 inches. I have my units as inches instead of points or picas or whatever. I'm just going to name it right here, pencil, and ready to go. So here I have my artboard, and I'm going to start, I have my layers panels out. We're going to be using it a lot in this. Um, and actually, I'm going to change the size of my artboard. I'm going to document set up, and I'd rather just have it be um, kind of long and wide. And I'm going to edit it just by eyeball. I'm going to just drag this up, and I'm going to drag this over so I have plenty of room to work with right here. This is where I'm going to draw my pencil. I'm going to start out by, um, I'm going to click the black arrow tool just to accept that really quickly. I'm going to start out by uh, showing you how to draw this, the uh, pencil. It's going to be a, a standard yellow pencil that we have that has the six sides or facets. I'm going to call them facets. And I'm going to start by drawing the first side. And it's going to be long and thin. So I'm going to have it go from about here to over here. I'm going to use the rectangle tool. If the rectangle is not showing, just click and hold it down. Choose the rectangle tool. And I'm just going to click and drag. And I'm going to draw a... a about that big right there. Now, th this notice the stroke of that is black and the fill is white. I'm going to change the fill to be kind of an orangey pencil color. And I'm going to change the stroke so that there is no stroke because I do not want a black line or any line around it. The lines will appear by just the boundaries between the different parts of the pencil. Now, when you look at a pencil, you know, you, you have, you can only see three sides at a time because they're, it's a hexagon, so you can only see the three sides at a time as you look around it. So we're only going to have to draw three facets of this. Here's the first one, and I'm just going to copy this and drag it down by going Alt. I'm going to hold the Alt and the Shift key, and I'm just going to drag it. Actually, I'm going to hold the Alt key and drag it, and then let go. And I'm going to click on this one, do the same thing, except I'm going to drag up, and these are going to be the the other facets on the side of it. But it all looks like one rectangle. But we can see as we click over them that there are three of uh, those long skinny rectangles. And if I hit the, the layer button, we can see that I have three paths. Um, the, the first path that I drew is here. The second path is down, uh, is up, and the third path is down. Um, but these all look the same. Well, so I want to change the top one, because usually in a room when you look at a pencil, the pencil looks brighter on the top or lighter and then darker on the bottom because it's in shadow. So we're going to change the, um, the color there. And notice this top row has the, the color and the hue and everything that, that we chose. And so the top I want to be lighter, so I'm just going to choose that one. And then the bottom one, I'm going to choose that one because it's going to be darker. And we look at it, now we have that looks a little more like it. And now I'm going to, I'm going to zoom in. A little bit because I I want the um, the top one to be not as um, I don't want it to be as thick because when you look at it if you're looking straight on on the pencil this one this side right here is going to look uh, a little thinner if we're looking at it from the same level as the pencil so I'm going to make this top and the bottom one thinner because if we're looking at the pencil straight on on the side uh, this side's going to look bigger and these sides are going to look angled. And so they're going to, so to give that illusion, we're going to make that smaller. So I'm going to go control zero to zoom out and we can kind of see the pencil right here. Now, as we look at it, um, I'm going to, I'm going to now draw the, the uh, metallic end that holds the eraser and have it on this side. I'm going to draw the pencil lid on this side. So I'm going to start with the, the metallic end rectangle tools, what I'm going to use again. And I'm going to just choose a gray and we'll work out some other colors later because metal is kind of gray looking. And I'm just going to click. Oh. Okay, so I'm just going to click and drag that metal right there. And it doesn't quite look right. So I'm going to just zoom in on that part and use the black arrow tool and it gives me um, all my anchors so I can drag this so it's exactly the same size as the pencil. Now, actually, I don't want it to be exactly the same size, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit more because I want it to be a little bit, just a teeny bit wider than the than the pencil itself because the metal kind of sticks out around it. So I'm going to just adjust that a little bit on the top and bottom. And this is this edge should be rounded 
Now here is where we get a little bit tricky. I want this to be rounded right here, so I'm going to click on my um, on my pencil to my pen tool. I'm going to add an anchor point. I'm going to add it right here in the middle. Now the purpose of this is so I can do some dragging and stuff to to, to curve this. I want this to curve this way, so it kind of curves like that. So I'm going to after I add my anchor point, I'm going to convert my anchor point tool so that I want it to be like like so. Did you see how I did that? I used the convert anchor point tool and I clicked on the, the point that I just created and I dragged it up. And then when I pull this, notice that nice curve that it makes. Okay, I'm going to hold the space key down and I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So I'm going to, once again, I'm going to repeat that at anchor point. I'm going to add it right there. And then I'm going to use my Convert Anchor Point tool. And I'm going to drag this. Notice how when I drag it up, it, it turns that squiggly line. So while I'm, I'm just holding down the mouse and I drag it this way so I have it smooth, then I'm going to use the white arrow tool and just drag it over. There. Now we got, we've got two of those curves right there. Now if those curves don't look exactly right, I can just click on that. And if I want to emphasize that curve a little more, I can. All right, now I'm going to draw the eraser. So I'm going to just hold down my space bar. I'm going to drag over right here. I'm going to use my pen tool, just my regular pen tool, to draw the eraser. So I'm going to start right here, just a little bit below that. And I'm going to draw a point. And I'm going to draw a point. Notice when the green line appears, it tells me I'm you know, vertically underneath that. So I'm just clicking and letting go, clicking and letting it go. And right here, I'm going to make this eraser a little bit unusual. So I'm going to click and let go right here. And then I'm going to, um, before I do it, I'm just going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to click and drag up. And then I'm going to come right here. And then I let go. And then I'm going to click and drag kind of over like that. And then I'm going to come right there and just click and let go. And then click right there. And that closes the path. I have to, when you use the pen tool, you close the path when you come to the end by clicking on the anchor point you began with. And now I have kind of this, uh, this eraser that's a little bit, has a couple little curves in it. Just play with it a little bit. So I have, all right, but it's not the right color, is it? So I'm going to make it pink. So I'm going to click on here and I'm going to pinkify it. Uh, I think I'll use I'll use that color right there. That's that's too pink. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to choose a lighter pink, maybe that one. I think that looks more erasery as I look at an eraser on my table, on my desk here. All right. Now that's also on top of of the um, of the metal part of it. So I'm going to move it down. So I click on my layers panel or hit or hit F7. I use my eraser. I'm gonna move it underneath the metal part. Well, now let's uh let's just zoom out. Control minus, and I'm gonna having. I'm not happy with this corner right here. I think I'm gonna move this corner down. I'm just gonna click on it with the white arrow tool, and click on that once. And notice how that one's selected, but these all these anchor points are all open. That makes it so I can just push that down. Th that looks a little more, a little better. I'm thinking about maybe adjusting that. I'm going to click and hold down on the pen tool and convert the anchor point. I'm just going to grab that because I want that edge to be a little rounded. Actually, I'm going to do that. I'm going to hold that out. Notice how it pulled that eraser down here. I'm just going to grab that handle and move it in. And I'm going to move this. I'm going to move this point up just a little bit. And that looks a little truer, doesn't it? I think that looks a little more used eraser right there. It's not perfect, and that's and that's how I wanted it. We'll come back to this metal later on to make it look more metallic. This is starting to look like a pencil down at the end, isn't it? Okay, so I just control minus to zoom out. And I'm going to move down to this end. 
and we are going to make this uh, we're gonna make the first the wooden end here so I'm gonna use the pen tool to do that also and I'm gonna kind of hold my mount my my um, I'm just gonna drag my um, pen tool there until it looks like that green line appears and that's in the middle that's about the middle of where I want to be I'm gonna come down here to that anchor point and then I'm going to go up right here, and I'm going to make that kind of jaggedy looking edge. Don't worry about the pink color right now. I'm just going to kind of jag it up and down. I'm going to come right there. I'm going to go right there, and then come across, and then I'm going to close it. And then I'm going to give it a brown color. So I'm going to come over here to this, and actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to click on my black arrow tool and click on this object and then I'm going to choose brown here. I'm going to choose this light brown. And that kind of looks pencil -y. We'll add some some um, more information to that, give it some texture later on. Uh oh, but I made that the same color right there. So I'm going to go a different brown. I'm going to go maybe a uh, little darker brown. And that looks kind of all right. Notice how we get that jagged edge. It looks like it's been sharpened. Now I need to come in here and draw the pencil lead. So I'm going to zoom in right there. Notice I can zoom in and get it's nice and sharp. And I'm going to use the pen tool once again. I'm going to start at the point. And by the way, I'm going to make it black. Notice I have nothing selected. I, I use the black arrow tool and I clicked outside. Notice that's not selected. I'm going to click outside it. It's not selected. Click the pen tool. I'm going to start right here. And I'm going to do this pencil lead. I'm going to just kind of jagged this up a little bit and then come back to my beginning. And notice it's the same color as the last one, but I want to make it black. And there we have a pencil lead. Minus. Ooh, I made that pencil lead really small because I zoomed in too far. So I'm going to have to go in. I'm going to, I'm going to play with this a little bit. I'm going to grab this. And I'm going to just grab these points right here, that point, that point, and then I'm holding the shift key down while I use the white arrow tool to click on all those. And now I'm just going to move them over. Wow. And then I'm going to grab that point. I'm going to grab this point and drag it down here. And I'm going to drag each one of these points. This is not something I intended to do. So go right here. Let's see how this looks. It's a small pencil lead, but it works. Okay. Uh, yeah, you may want to when you do this, draw it from from a little further out, so you have better perspective. All right, is our pencil done? I would suggest that no. I'm hold, I just went Control Zero, Control Minus to zoom out, and then I went hold the space bar down, and that hand appears, and that's how you can drag around. Now, it doesn't quite look 100% um, real, does it? Like I'm going to mess with the metal on this. I'm going to add a gradient. So I'm going to turn on the gradient tool right here, and then I'm going to come over here to this gradient panel. I'm going to pull it out so I can um, see this a little better. I want this to have a top, I want it to have like a little reflection and then some other stuff going on right there. So I'm going to click on this and notice it gave a gradient, but it's going the wrong direction. I want the gradient to go up and down. So I make sure you have this gradient tool selected and then this panel is how you can control it. Now notice how if I hold my mouse towards on this right side of it, I can drag it. So I'm just going to drag that. And if I hold the shift key down, it's going to lock it in at 45, 90 degrees. So I just hold the shift key down. And then I'm going to, oh yeah, we'll just do that. And then I'm going to grab this and move it in and then move this side up. And I'm starting already to get uh, the effect that I want with that, uh, with the gradient tool. Okay. So I'm going to come over here and this controls the gradient itself. Now on the bottom, notice the sides on the bottom, I do want it to be dark, but I don't want it to be that dark. So I'm going to double click on that, and I'm going to give it a dark gray, but not a black. And now I click on that, and that's that dark gray. In fact, I think that's still too dark, so I'm going to go over one more step. 
Okay, now at the top I don't want to be white, but I want to be a light gray. So I'm going to click on a light gray right there. And now I'm getting a gradient that's starting to look a little more realistic. Um, but I want to add a couple of spots because I want there to be a kind of like a, a bright line reflecting here. So I'm going to click right here, and that is how you add uh, a, a color to it. And I'm going to make that um, almost white. And notice how that appears right there. That, that white reflection right there. In fact, I'm, while, while I'm here, I'm just going to zoom on the, oops, I'm going to click on the zoom tool and zoom in on it. And then I'm going to come back to here. Now I'm going to add another gradient line, a gradient point. And I'm going to make that one a little darker. And then I'm going to move this over. Move that over. And notice we're starting to get this reflection. Uh, actually, I'm going to make that one a little lighter. I'm going to move this over. And now I'm starting to get happy with that. That looks that looks a little bit. That looks like we're getting some reflection on a couple from a couple of different lights, and it's darker down here. I'm I'm kind of happy with that. I I almost think that I want this to be just a little lighter down here. Oh, I got to click on it. I I I left left it for a second. There. Now that looks that looks metallic. I'm happy with that. So notice when you play with these that that does a center point for where the um, gradient is. Oh, I clicked off of it again. Notice how that changes where those reflection how those lights look. You can make it thinner. Now I'm losing the effect that I had, so I'm going to move that over here so I have a little bit, so I have it the way I want. It takes a little bit of playing with. There we go. Now I have, it looks like those two lights on there. But I'm not done with the metal yet. But I think I'm going to save that for a different lesson because I'm already at 17 minutes, so I'll just stop right here.